Now, purely hypothetically speaking, if I were to tell you that I believed in the existence of the devil, what would you think of me? Hi, I'm Bernie Diamond, and welcome to today's episode of Fresh. Yep, it's true. I believe that the devil exists. Not because I believe there's a demon under every sofa, not because I'm superstitious, but because Jesus clearly believed in the existence of the devil. Luke chapter 4, verses 1 and 2. Jesus returned from the Jordan River. He was full of the Holy Spirit, and the Spirit led him into the desert. There, the devil tempted Jesus for 40 days. And that's something that the devil is still doing today. Whether we're prepared to acknowledge it or not, we still run into this enemy in our lives day to day. Think about this. Surveys tell us that over 50% of men in the Western world are addicted to pornography. Well, where did that come from, do you think? So many people struggle with this or with that and wonder, how can I ever win? Well, they can, you can, because the war is already won. And instead of engaging in lone hand-to-hand -hand combat with an enemy that you can never defeat, there is a far better option. James chapter 4, verse 7. So give yourselves to God. Stand against the devil and he will run away from you. In other words, change camps. Go sit smack bang in the middle of the camp of the winning team. And from there, resist the devil and watch him run. If you're struggling with the devil, then here's the answer. Give yourself to God, submit to God, live for him. And as you sit there in the middle of the winning camp, surrounded by the power of God, from that place, resist the devil and he will run away from you. That's God's word, fresh for you today. The most powerful weapon that you can ever wield against the devil is the Word of God, just as Jesus did out there in the wilderness. That's why I'd love to send you your fresh devotional each day, a scripture verse and some words of inspiration, hope and encouragement to help you be all that God's made you to be. It's completely free. So stop by at ChristianityWorks.com for instant access. Again, that web address is ChristianityWorks.com. I'll catch you next time.